McAllister, emotions overflowed across the state of Oklahoma on Thursday at the news Governor Kevin Stitt would halt the execution of death row inmate Julius Jones. Outside the Oklahoma State Penitentiary, Jones's family and supporters erupted in shouts of joy when they heard that Stitt announced he would commute the death sentence to life in prison. The governor just announced he's going to grant clemency, Tulsa activist Tiffany Crutcher announced to the CR. Many broke into tears, including Jones supporter Paige Patton, who began to praise, Thank you, Lord. It was a long wait, Patton said. He works miracles still. The celebration in McAllister lessened as Crutcher announced the governor would not allow Jones the opportunity for parole, meaning he will spend the rest of his life in prison. The Oklahoma Pardon and Parole Board voted 3-1 to one on November 1 to recommend the governor reduce Jones's sentence to life in prison with the possibility for parole. The final decision of whether to accept, modify or reject the board's recommendation rested with Stitt. Jones's sister, Antoinette Jones, said she woke up Thursday morning at peace. She also voiced displeasure that Stitt waited to announce his decision until mere hours before her brother was scheduled to die. Jones had already eaten his traditional last meal Wednesday night. He ordered two KFC sandwiches, large McDonald's french fries with salt and ketchup, a meat lover's pizza from Pizza Hut, and a bottle of water. Many in the crowd echoed Antoinette Jones's readiness to continue the movement for her brother's freedom, but the chances of Jones ever walking free are slim. The governor stipulated Jones could never apply for a commutation, pardon or parole for the remainder of his life in prison. Clemency is still a victory despite the lack of parole, said the Rev. C.C. Jones Davis, who is of no relation to Jones but founded the Justice for Julius campaign. Where there is life, there is hope, she said, today, we're going to celebrate Julius' life. Jones maintained his innocence of the 1999 shooting of Powell, an Edmund insurance executive. He was sentenced to death in a 2002 trial. The announcement was bittersweet for the families of Jones and Paul Howell, the man he was convicted in 2002 of killing. Howell's relatives opposed clemency for Jones while the inmate's family prayed for his release. We take comfort that his decision affirmed the guilt of Julius Jones and that he shall not be eligible to apply for, or be considered for, a commutation, pardon or parole for the remainder of his life. A crowd of more than 100 Jones supporters filled the second floor rotunda at the state capitol, just outside of the governor's office. They sang, chanted and prayed as they waited for Stitt to announce his decision.